get some food today. We gotta saddle up this pony. All right, everybody, it's Max here. So, still gotta wear masks today, so we gotta be careful, but the plan today is meeting them with my buddy Grant, who has been hyping up the seafood restaurant that's famous for the crabs. So, we gotta see if the hype is real. Other than that, just gonna take the day as it comes. Maybe get some noodles, maybe get some sweets. No matter what, though, bringing y'all with us today to eat and have a good time. Just got some rain showers done, so we're about to jet, get to the first place, and get today started. Tell y'all what, Grab Drivers, Go Viet, well, Go Jack now are the best way to learn Vietnamese. They're so friendly, always want to talk. So we're here a little bit early waiting on Grant. He'll roll up, hopefully before it rains, and we'll get in here. I swear, sometimes motorbikes and the cutting of tile are the official sounds of Saigon. There's always construction going on everywhere. What's up, bro? Yeah, man. What's up? How you doing? Nice, Grant's here, about to get up in this spot right here. As you see, we're kind of like on the outskirts of a market or in a market. I'm not really kind of sure, it's kind of spread out. I mean, this is hole in the wall though. Even Grant didn't see it. You gotta really look for the sign on the inside of it and know where it's at. What's up, bro, how are you? How you doing? You hungry? Yeah, I'm starving right now. Dude, let's get in here. So we're not Mohang, we're not the first ones here, but we were pretty darn close. We're bigger, so we're gonna have to scoot. We're bigger guys. We're gonna, I need like to go skip one. Social distancing. Oh, this is her station. She is prepared, organized, and ready to crank out some noodles. Oh, she got all kinds of stuff going in here. Looks like she got a pork and a beef mixture. Put the scallions in there. I'm gonna guess maybe a little MSG or a little sugar or some white powder something. Gonna run that broth in there and cook all those ingredients. So I got mine with the mui noodles, so it's actually gonna be, it's kind of just like an instant ramen noodle. Got those dry on the side, you saw them, they tossed them in that sauce. And then Grant actually got his with the booms, which are gonna be the rice noodles, and he got his nook, so he actually got his wet. Bro, it looks good. Yeah. I'm starving, man. Come on in. Got big bro over here making sure I don't screw anything up and make sure we do it right. And all right, back in the safe zone. Woo! I've actually never had these with the actual boon noodle. I always get them with the meat. Oh, and dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I usually like better too, but then I think it's the first time for everything though. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, no pressure. <laughs> I'm going first time on the camera. All right, let's dive a little deeper and check out these noodles. So that bowl, she put the broth in. You see, you got that sliced beef, but I actually thought that patty was more pork, but now that I look at it up and close, I do believe that is seafood. Look at that color, that murkiness of the broth. And one reason I love this dish so much is because it's got a heavy hand with the scallions. Now in our other bowl here, already gonna go ahead and transport that egg. I don't want that to cook anymore. I want that to be nice and a little bit runny. Oh, there you go. Oh, go. here we go. Yeah. First bite. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Here you go. Touch heaven. I don't know if those are any good, but these are on <laughs> point. Yeah, I think those are way better than mine, honestly. I like something with a little bit, a little bit of a stronger flavor, but oh, if you like something more mild, I think that this is definitely the way to go. You're right. That's why I love these though, because you get the extra coating of the sauce. Mm -hmm. They toss them in that sauce yeah. and it's dry, so it is intensified. I can just barely add the broth for what I want. 
Love the balance on the spicy sweet sauce up. Like again, I'm gonna sound like a broken record, y'all, but I just love the massive amounts of scallions in this. I just can't believe how murky this broth is. Extra protein, but I don't want it right now. A little hair. That's why it's on the side. That's the palate cleanser, y'all. It's really milky, but there's not a lot of strong flavors coming from it. That's fine though, because that's why it's on the side. All my flavor's gonna come from these dry, sauce-coated noodles over here. Now, Big Bro went to the trouble of making the sauce for me, so I'm definitely gonna, you know, say thank you and use it. Can't start with anything other than the shrimp, though. That is perfectly cooked, didn't overcook it at all. And look how fresh it is. You see how tightly coiled this prawn is? This means it's got the ultimate freshness and then you immerse it in all that sauce. Okay, okay. Well, I'm sorry you didn't get the dry noodles, but uh, <laughs> you do still got some prawns in there though. Yeah, I know. And honestly, like, I thought this, uh, the broth was like pretty plain for the most part. It's very comforting, but I think this sauce is actually where it's at because I dip into this and there's definitely a lot more flavor. Perfectly done, initial snap, then it's soft and you crunch into some big whole peppercorns with this. Love that. Really will take over your taste buds. What do y'all think though? I kind of feel like this mysterious little seafood cake is like the secret X Factor winner in this dish. Nope, I was wrong. That is just pretty bland. <laughs> hey man, it happens. You know, yeah, sometimes you get good. excited about things, yeah, and yeah. don't live up to it, mm -hmm. but then sometimes things really blow your mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. This bowl right here is why I would come back again and again. You want the extra order of prawns if you come here. Just a heads up, you want the extra order. Ooh, that place filled up as we got out of here. Oh man, I'm getting popular. Is this still Bintan? Yeah, it's still Bintan. Oh man, we are out on the outskirts of Bintan. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I trust him. <laughs> so how'd you find out about this place? Uh, I was dating a girl and it just yeah? took me here. Okay, so yeah, yeah. it's actually local recommended, so. Check it out. That's always nice, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Just typical of these huge restaurants, the menu is massive. Yeah, but the main uh, the main draw is definitely the crab, because you can actually go pick it out yourself. Which so we'll, have, we'll be able to do that. We're gonna do that. Yeah, for sure. Wow, hello. Yeah, we do that have the idea too. I thought the other menu was difficult. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so we are picking dinner tonight. Pretty much what you do is you come over here and you pick what crabs you want, how many you want, and then you tell them how you want them to cook it up. And they got about 12 different varieties of ways that you can cook up the crab. You got it. Right. Does he look sweet and succulent? It's pretty lively. The other ones are resting, so I don't know. Get him. This. Okay, come on. They're sleepy. Yeah. They're ready to go in the pot. Two types here. We got the kua te lung. So, kua crab te, I think means grill and lun would mean like big, so. So maybe there are big crabs that are good for grilling. I don't know, that is just a that, ballpark like, answer. Not bad, but some bigger suckers though. So you got two, 1.5 kilo, ain't bad. Some vermicelli. What are you in the mood for? Like I can really do anything. Um, you have two very undeciding, undeciding, unde undecision. What word am I looking yeah, for? Say, um, Undecisive? Indecisive. Uh, indecisive, indecisive people trying to pick. I feel like my, my English has gotten worse since I've been moving, I moved to Indonesia. <laughs> So this isn't like an up restaurant, like a snail restaurant. This is a crab restaurant. You look yes. around and everybody on their table has some crab. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the, the name literally translates crab room. 
Bong's room. room. Yeah. yeah Bong's oh my room. gosh, yeah, it's yeah, crab yeah, room. Yeah, okay. Crab room, yeah, pretty much says it there. When you came in here, it's like, oh, I want some chicken. It's like, yeah, they have it, but that'd be kind of weird. You're wasting your money. Wasting money for sure. What? That, that is huge. Did you know it was gonna come out like that? No, I did not actually. <laughs> like that's a surprise even for me. Yeah, I'm like, whoa. Oh, it's yeah. like a mountain's on our table. <laughs> a mountain of curry crab. Dude, why'd you order so much? I was hungry. <laughs> I was hungry. Those noodles. See, you should have yeah, ordered better noodles earlier. <laughs> no, it's like water, man. It just went straight down. It went straight down. Now I need some more. Now this is how you do Vietnam: drinking beer, eating seafood. Right in the middle of a storm. I think it's gonna be a little louder than I thought it was gonna be. That's right, bring it on down, brother. Bring it on down. You thinking crab, right, first? Yeah, I'm thinking I am. I have to, I have to. All right, you're right, you're right. It'd be rude not to. So look at what we did is we got the crab curry style, but what's interesting, we got the okra. We're actually using the eggplant, and then look at that sauce. It looks like it's packed with turmeric. You see the lemongrass. And I'm ready to scoop some of that sauce in the bottom, get it with that crab meat. Let's go. Oh my wow, God. Look at that claw, man. Huge. Look at that, crackling my hand almost. Oh, oh, dig in there. Oh, that crack is such a satisfying yeah. sound. Oh, there you go, look at that. Oh, look at you. They cooked it perfectly. That is buttery, not overcooked, soft, juicy. I tell you the curry sauce though. Yeah. It's thick, it's creamy. It's a little bit on the sweet side. Like I want to dump some chilies on this for sure. For sure, yeah. But man, it really complements the meaty, buttery crab so well. I don't even want to talk, I'm good. <laughs> he's done. That's all he's got. Yeah. one right there. I do some chili on that too. Woo, look at that. That's where it's at. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. People who like it spicy are just more fun. Gotta put it down. Put it down. <laughs> I like that strategy. Did you see that? He got the meat. He went sauce straight into the raw chili. Respect. Yeah. My Respect. Right? Oh yeah. So that little kick of fresh chili balances out beautifully. Absolute perfection. Going down. I'm, I'm double dipping. <laughs> and I ain't messed up about it. I'm gonna get some vegetables in. Mm. I, love, I love how the vegetables, like the potatoes and the eggplant, just really soak up that sauce too. Awesome. I didn't even notice the vegetables because I'm still <laughs> mesmerized by the crab. Alright, let's take a peek under the hood here, see what we're working with. saw me I got a little bounce he had the little head nod he had it going you know it's good you know I don't know if you like bitter melon or not but when you got big old cloves of garlic in here like this I don't know how you could not like this dish cooked it down until it is just buttery melt in your mouth what I love though are the different varieties of garlic you got the big old cloves in there but they also got mints in there as well and they're all cooked to different levels of doneness some are a little bit sweeter some are a little bit spicy and we got bitter melon Oh, so soft. Too healthy. Too healthy. <laughs> Look at this. Garlic clove. Garlic clove. Garlic clove. There's a one to one ratio garlic clove to bitter melon here. I'm not too sure this is a bitter melon dish. I actually kind of think it may be a garlic dish. Yeah, it looks like it. Mm. Dipping the soy sauce. A little salty, a little umami. Bro, what'd you do? What? These chilies are like gone and we just getting started. <laughs> uh, Emoy. Demo. 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 We're going to be saying that here in a second. Yeah. You going after your cockles? Yeah, for sure. Did order them. So, here. I think the process is to put it in your mouth and just clean it up. 
tamarind sauce good? Yeah, it's actually not as sweet as I thought it would be. And, oh yeah, the blood cockles. Ooh, squirting. Just dip it into my sauce. Mm. Really savory, I really like it. Can you see that garlic? Yeah. They like, they must have a garlic farm. Yeah. This is changed to garlic room, man. This is it right here. Decadent crab curry, back into the bitter melon garlic. I could play this duet all day long. Okay, we have not gotten after these prawns yet. Now, I'm lazy, and I've heard you don't like to deshell these. No, not at all. No, I'm pretty lazy as well, so. I think it's more crunchification and more flavor. All that flavor's in the head, right? Yeah. We need some sauce. Let's see, I'm, yeah. oh shoot. We going curry? Yeah, look, we, we going we curry? Here. We got here, yeah. Let's check it out. Oh. Oh. Here we go, brother. Cheers. Cheers, man. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god. Dude, just burst, explode. Mm. I thought I ruined my white shirt. That prawn curry sauce, clutch move. Of course, that's what the meal's kind of revolved around. Everything in that curry sauce. Don't even bother peeling it. Uh-oh. -uh. Uh. Yep. Get back in here. What do you think? What's your favorite? My favorite so far? Oh man, I, it's really hard. It pretty much seems like anything dipped in that curry sauce. So it's like the shrimp and the crab. Uh, yeah. The shrimp is definitely easier to eat, um, but I didn't have to give it the crab though. It's, it's the crab room. Yeah. Crab is king. Crab is king. Boy, that crab claw's a big boy. It ain't easy to get in there, but the juices Ooh. flowing out. That was a crunch. Chili action for you? Yeah, a little bit. Bro, it looks like that storm came through here. Yeah. I'm feeling good though. I'm feeling good. good. Yeah, yeah. Good choice. Y'all, this was clutch. That's some good crab for sure. I'm telling you, you go to every table here that got some crab, brother. You were on it with that one. Everything was delicious. Thanks so much for inviting me. Yeah, definitely. I just needed a reason to come back here. So there you go. <laughs> hey, you can always call on me. <laughs> I'll always be the sacrificial person. <laughs> no, brother. Hey, man, good luck to you. Yeah, for sure, man. Y'all, check out his channel, especially because it's going to have a very, very special guest on it really, really soon. You should really check it out. I heard it's just a great interview. Anyways. I kind of like something a little sweet, so we're going to go off and get a little something sweet, and I'll catch you at the next spot because, uh, well, it's rainy season in Vietnam, that's why. That looks like black molten lava in the bottom right there. Okay. Oh, it must be chair time for this or something because people are just rolling up on the motorbike. Yeah, I do, huh? Oh, we are scraping. I tried getting half and half. We are scraping. Ah, uh, come on, cool. Oh, y'all, I got to get better at my timing. I did not realize he ran out this early. I may have gotten the last bowl. So two flavors he's actually got are the black sesame seed and the sesame seed paste, which I'm actually guessing. I haven't, I haven't translated. Y'all can't see right here, but up under here, he's actually got charcoal in there. So while he's warming this up and he puts a block of stuff in there, it's actually gonna be heated through charcoal. A little cool down blow, this stuff will stick to your mouth. Oh, that is fantastic. The black sesame seed is good, but for me, I want more of just that pure sesame seed. That is coat your mouth. Big kick of sesame seed flavor, not too much sugar. That is on point. Wow. I'm eating fast now. I think he wants to clean up and get out of here. It's Saturday. I think he's ready to put a few down and enjoy the rest of his night. Oh yeah. You really don't see this in Saigon much, so it's a real special treat to find it. And then to get here and get the last bowl, 
Some things are just meant to be, y'all. Absolutely delicious. Like I said, I'll repeat it over and over again. Perfect little sweet treat to finish off today. And I'm just kind of that way. Gotta have something sweet or I just, my day's not complete. Anyway, thank you so much to Grant for showing us the crab place today. That was absolutely superb and I'll have to be making a few trips back out there for sure. Make sure again to check out his channel. If you wanna see more of an interview style, it's going around interviewing people, talking about some very interesting topics. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Just coming around, chilling, hang out in the rain, playing in the rain, eating some delicious food. You know what else could you want in life? Y'all, that's gonna do it. Max. Catch you at the next video.